it's naturally Michaela. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a quick video on my skincare routine for my face. Um, I do this for day and night. Um, my feature product is uh, rose hip. Um, so all of the products that I'm going to be using has um, rose hip in it. Rose roses in general are just great for your skin. Um, perfect for inflammation, hyperpigmentation. Just dry skin, irritated skin, inflamed skin. Um, roses are the bomb and they smell really good. So I hope you enjoy this video. Keep watching. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So you're going to want to start with a bare face. I have prepped my face by washing with um, just a basic facial clean cleanser I got from Ross. It's just um, rose oil. I'm really obsessed with roses lately. They have... A lot of amazing properties so I'm just gonna prep my skin with a makeup removing wipe which is also rose so just gonna wipe just make sure you have everything off make sure you got everything off and now we're gonna go in with this um, rose hip facial mask by Daisy Fuentes um, brightens firms and hydrates that got me. So, yep, that's why I bought it. And it smells good. It smells so good. Like, I think that's one of the reasons why I started using um, products with rose in it. Because it smells so good. And I'm going to scoop a little out so you can see. There's actually, like, bits. Oh, nope. That was a fail. Well, you can't see, but there's, like, little bits of roses in here. And it's just extra love for your skin so I have my little fancy smancy um, mask applicator that I also got from Ross I got this mask from Ross by the way it was $3.99 which is a great deal so I'm just gonna start putting it on I like the mask applicator because it makes for a smooth application and you don't have to get your hands and fingers all messy if you're familiar with the hydrogel um, sheet mask this is like this is that in a liquid form um so it's more environmental friendly because this just washes off versus the hydrogel mask that you have to throw away so you're just going to put on this mask as evenly as possible it smells so good it's nice and cool so it gives you that like fresh little tingle um, oh, it smells so good. It smells so good, and it feels good. I use this every night. Um, I have a cucumber one, but this rose one is my favorite, and it's really been helping me with my skin because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation, and it's been helping me get my glow back. So I think that's good. Try not to get any in your hair because you don't want to get gel in your hair. Obviously, avoid your eyes and your mouth and going in your nose. Um, you can do your neck. I usually do my neck and chest, actually, but for the sake of this video, um, I'm just going to do my face. But um, at night, I do do my face, neck, and chest. Um, you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then you can wash it off. I usually, because I do my face, neck, and chest, um, I'll wash off in the shower, but um, this one's just my face, so I'm just gonna wash it off. So yes, 10 to 15 minutes, it feels good. I can feel the tingle. Um, it's just really helpful, really beneficial. That was $3.99 at Ross. The makeup, the makeup wipe removers were also $3.99 at Ross. Um, so yeah, that is just um, part one and two, the cleansing and the facial mask. That's part one and two of my regimen. Part three and four we will discuss after I wash this mask off. Okay, so I am back. I have successfully washed the mask off of my face. My face feels very moisturized and soft. So now step three um, or part three of my 
regimen is I'm going to go in with um, some rose water. I got this at TJ Maxx, but they sell it at Ross. Um, it's literally just rose water. And I like to spray a generous amount. It's super, super hydrating. It smells so good and it's super beneficial for your skin. So I usually just kind of fan it and let it air dry. It's so nice and it feels so good. Like I promise your skin will feel so soft. Um, and then I'm going to go in with some good old aloe vera gel. Not a lot. It's probably like a dime size amount because I don't want to like overdo it. So I'm just putting this in to help moisturize my skin. This also is my day routine for my face. Um, for the day routine for my face, I stop here with the aloe vera gel, but for my night routine, I go in with oil. This is um, rose hip oil. And I'm just gonna, I actually added a couple drops of myrrh and frankincense um, in here, just because those are really good for glowing skin and people like me who struggle with hyperpigmentation. So I'm just gonna put a few drops in and I'm gonna massage it in. And I know it's a lot because at nighttime I like to lay it on thick and just let my skin drink it up all night. And then your skin is super nice and soft and moisturized in the morning. So, just rubbing it in. And I usually let it sit um, for about like 10 to 15 minutes. And then what I will do is just um, wipe off the excess oil so you're not walking around looking like a grease monster <laughs> so that was my video thank you so much for watching again don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, I just feel like roses have really made a difference in my skin um, especially just helping me just get that glowing skin back um, so thanks for watching and I hope you go out and Try some rose products for yourself and let me know what you think. All right, see you next time. Bye.